that much. So, health initiatives from the government of Sindh regarding hydrocephalus and spina bifida. So, how it started? The background was when COVID occurred, all the facilities were blocked. People of the province and uh, as we know that the spina bifida most of the time it occurs in those areas where there is poverty and with poverty it is a relation. So in Sindh there is a desert thar and thar is very uh, difficult, it's very difficult for the people of thar to reach to the main cities. I work in Hyderabad around 280-300 kilometers from the region thar. So in COVID, transport were blocked. We neurosurgeons are already short in every part of the world. People were facing very difficulties. So we decided that at that time to conduct an outreach surgical program. That was first of its kind in the whole country because usually the outreach program are of medical kind. We had to conduct a surgical program and we went there in third we found some we found a hospital, private hospital. We discussed with them and we said them that we will do surgery freely. You should help us in the regard that you should provide logistics. So, sorry. So what we did, we conducted the program and that was the first outreach surgical program. And in that, so this was of Mithi. Mithi is a third area, so we did in that, that region. And afterwards it continued in the, when the COVID, when COVID was ended, and then what happened? Flood came in the Sindh area. And it was very difficult again for the people to come. So we conducted this program with a team of volunteers and we found these, all the pictures, what we, uh, what I'm showing are of these outreach programs. So on, uh, this baby, for example, with huge lack of myelogenous and this baby, for example, had a, so much hyper, uh, had a large head. She was around 14, 15 years, and she was unable to walk. They bring them in a the jeep. She was lying, and we saw she saw the baby there, and she was surviving. So, with the help of volunteers, team of radiologists, anesthetists, paramedical staffs, all from the Hyderabad, we went there and we started it. So we conducted a scrutiny, got some donations from family, friends to perform these activities. Till then we performed 19 camps and performed 45 free surgeries at our own which we saw around 1875 patients in 10 districts. Then I took those initiatives and then to the government of Sindh. But before that, when I was conducting the first surgical camp, in the third area, I was amazed that because the patients, the number of patients of with hydrocephalus and spina bifida, out of 140 total patients, around 64% of patients, means 90 patients came with hydrocephalus and spina bifida. I've never seen that much in our city. So I was so much amazed in this for the this Vichy region. So we conducted other patients, uh, we conducted camps in other regions and we saw patients. But what was the target at that time, so I seeing that much number of patients, we always focused on hydrocephalus spina bifida. Along with them, if the patients with any other neurological disease come, we used to see them as well. So, with these ratios and reports, the 8.5% of patients from these 1875 were hydro. But if we see in the, in the which he first came, it was of 64% patients. So, what we did, we conducted different surgeries and uh, in different regions in, in that along with hydrocephalus and spina bifida, we conducted other surgeries as well in different regions in these outreach camps. These were few glimpses of those camps and pre-op assessments and pictures of few surgeries. What problems during those period I faced was financial support, logistic, main power were not, main power was lacking. Those people who were there were not trained. Coming, coming back to the my city, then we started with because of so much number of the patients, we started campaign. So we started first time a seminar in our own university to 
to teach our doctors, paramedics, every kind of people in the hospital. And uh, on 25th October, as there is a world day, so we did on that day. Afterwards, I went to the government of Sindh to ask them for help. They helped me. I conducted a first uh, program with help, with their help in 2022. So what we were targeting, because of, there was lack of, uh, lack, uh, lack of education, poverty, people don't know how to uh, come to the hospital. So we put those figures, hydrocephalus, spina bifida, in a backward area, one can see these patients and they can bring them to the hospital. So meeting with the health minister, then with interim health minister, they helped. We formed a chart how to conduct a successful event and those we pointed out, listed all the things which we required from the government and what initiatives, how can we take. Then again, awareness is the main stay I think and we were uh, doing campaigns and not only in big areas but in every hospital. What we did, me along with my team of volunteer friends, we, I used to say to them, go to one hospital, I am going to another hospital. So we covered nearly all hospitals. So in different hospitals we did, then we used media platforms and this person was Director General Health, the highest government official of the government. So asked him to give message regarding folic acid awareness and prevention for this spina bifida. I went myself on radios, TVs, used print media to give awareness, to give awareness among like students and everybody we, we conducted webinars as well. So in webinars, not only this, we, we involved gynecologist, medicine uh, doctor, radiologist, pediatrician, epidemiologist, all on a channel so that they can give their uh, views. Again, with the help of government, government, we conducted the same camps like this way. During those camps, we involved director health and uh, medical students to help us with us, volunteer students for us, uh, together with us. We sent them, taught them, already they went in the society uh, and then what they did, they were uh, filling the forms about their awareness, then teaching them. This was a performa in which not only uh, biodata, antenatal care, family history, previous cases like this all were included. So these are the pictures from them. The consent form was taken that we will publish it, but we, we explained them in uh, local language. Indeed. So the screening was done and uh, it's not only hydrocephalus, spina bifida, as I mentioned, different kind of other disease were also in, uh, the, in the games. So this was the one of the case that came in Mithi, third region, in the, with collaboration of government of Sindh. That was so huge and the baby was three years. The biggest city of Pakistan is Karachi. In public sector hospital, she was deferred that if we will do, uh, baby can die. So parents took, took her back and they decided that it's up to nature, whatever will happen. Because of this came and poverty, uh, NGO people, from the NGO person took the baby to us and we, because it was high risk, so we took the patient to the city. But before it, I again went to government of Sindh and I asked help from them to give us rescue 1122 uh, vehicles along with them pediatric ventilators and anesthesia machines to conduct those in the government sector hospital cases which I can perform over there. <clears throat> so we conducted uh, spina bifida cases, encephalosis in those regions, third region, but this patient was taken back to the Hyderabad because of the its, its complications. And Alhamdulillah, we operated, that was so huge, it was of 9 kg and the my baby was overall 15 kg and around 5 liters of uh, fluid was there inside it. So this was the baby uh, greeting on each last year. So these were the few beneficiaries of those camps which outreach health initiative which we were conducting with the government. Along with this, the bill for the from the Sindh government is already passed in 2021 regarding foliate fortification. So hopefully this would be 
as the previous speaker told us that there are few uh, a few uh, areas where the uh, meals are floor floor and meal are uh, being made with fortification but hopefully now inshallah with this government it will be all and uh, this was the published nutritional international what future prospects we see we see that formation of spina bifida hydrocephalus society journal annual camps should should be done in like those areas in pseudo endemic areas and uh, we are conducting them we are conducting collaboration with government of sind for our financial support where we can do these camps and i think uh, professor tarik khan is there and i he is a senior uh, person in the uh, pakistan society of neurosurgery so we should involve young neurosurgeons because young neurosurgeons are capable of doing these if they cannot do every kind of surgery but these case surgeries they are trained in for them so they can do it in different areas so what young neurosurgeons should be taken on board and they should be charged that you should go and perform these kind of things in different area difficult areas if you find a complicated case bring them back to the city and uh, the gap the gap should be decreased by this way neurosurgeons and disease burden the gap between these should be decreased in this manner because someone has to go there and do these things and um, everyone should take his, his or her initiative and go go there this was my team and uh, in them those participated in different surgeries and all and few of them are now consultants and few are uh, pgs different details and thank you jazak <laughs>